Hi, I'm Tyler Stellman from SachiOnline.com and today I'd like to talk to you about photographing artwork. Of course, the first step is to create some art. If your work is on canvas, great, but if it's on loose paper or cardboard, you're going to want to match to something that can hang or lean on the wall. Choose a location with bright soft lighting. Harsh direct lighting can cast shadows, create reflections, and shift the color of your artwork. A large window can make for a great light source, but an overcast day also makes for great shooting outdoors. To get the best possible image quality out of your camera, you're going to want to set the ISO to 100 or 200, depending on the camera model. Use a microfiber cloth to clean any dirt or smudges off of your lens. To make sure that your image is sharp, it's important that the camera doesn't move while the photo is being exposed. The best way to do this is to use a tripod. If you don't have one, you can use a flat level surface. When you prop up your work to be photographed, it's important that it's parallel with the lens of the camera. If the art does need to be on a slant to stand up, you'll need to tilt your camera to match the angle. If you're photographing an installation or a sculpture, use a clean, simple background. It's best if your work is the only object in the photograph. Leave only a small amount of space around the edges of your canvas in the frame. This will maximize the resolution you're getting out of your camera. Position your camera horizontally or vertically to match the angle of the canvas. It's important to make sure that your flash is turned off. We're using this beautiful window light and a flash would overpower it. Look to your camera manual if you're not sure how to do this. Another thing about light is that it can have a lot of different tones that your eye adjusts for easily but a camera has trouble dealing with. The way that a camera compensates for this is using white balance. The goal is to adjust the white in your image to match the white that your eyes see. If the auto white balance in your camera is tinting orange or blue, try using a preset for your lighting environment, which in our case is daylight. If you're indoors, make sure to turn the lights off in your room. They have their own color and won't mix well with your window light. Now we're ready to take a photo. It's helpful to use the self timer to keep your camera perfectly still. This creates a delay between when you press the shutter and the image is taken. If you want the best possible quality out of your camera, it's a good idea to zoom in a little. Lenses aren't at their sharpest when they're zoomed all the way out or in, so you'll get the best results somewhere in between. Another good idea is to set your aperture to f8, but make sure it's on a tripod. After taking your first image, there's a few things you're going to want to look for. If your image is too dark or too bright, Use the exposure compensation feature in your camera to correct it. The color and exposure in your image should be as close as possible to the original artwork. You can make adjustments in your computer later, but you always risk damaging the image file. Finally, make sure your image is in focus. If it looks soft or blurry, it's likely that the autofocus made a mistake or that the camera moved while the photo was being taken. Take several shots of your art, even if you think you got it right the first time. You may notice things that you didn't notice on the back of your camera when you put it on your computer screen. Don't start packing up your gear until you've reviewed your photos on a computer. You may notice a problem you couldn't see in your camera and you may need to retake the photos. There's a lot of applications out there for processing your images. If you're using Windows, Picasa is a great free option or iPhoto if you're on a Mac. Download the files to your hard drive and choose the best image and open it up. Use the cropping tool so that you only see the piece itself and make sure to double check for any visible borders around the edges. Zoom into the image at 100% and carefully look it over, checking for anything that wasn't there in your original artwork. Use the retouch tool to remove any problem areas. Sometimes boosting the contrast slightly can help your art look more true to life, but be really careful not to overdo it because a great image can be ruined quickly by too much editing. Save the image to your hard drive as a JPEG and be sure to leave the compression at maximum quality. Your art is ready to be uploaded to SachiOnline.com. Thanks for watching.